The Ukraine war has seen Russia losing a significant number of tanks, armored vehicles, as well as aircraft. The worst embarrassment was that a few Su-35S air dominance fighters have also been shot down by Ukrainian forces. But this may result in much more than embarrassment. Reports have emerged that Ukrainian experts have salvaged several key components of the downed Su-35S and these are now being transferred to the USA. Viewers may note that on April 3rd, an Su-35S undertaking a suppression of enemy air defenses SEAD, operation was brought down near Izium, some 75 miles or 120 kilometers east of Kharkiv. Several NATO weapons like Javelin, Enlaws, Stingers have been captured by Russian forces. In a conflict, things like this are bound to happen, but fighter jets are at a different level when compared to manpads or ATGMs. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the downed Su-35S in the hands of US experts is trouble for Russia and China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for macOS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. The Sukhoi Su-35S is a single-seat, twin-engine, heavyweight, super-maneuverable aircraft designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and built by the Komsomolsk on Amur aircraft plant. The aircraft is being considered to be a 4-plus-plus generation fighter. The type was originally developed by the Soviet Union from the Su-27 and was known as the Su-27M. It incorporated canards and a multi-function radar, giving it multi-role capabilities. The first prototype made its maiden flight in June 1988. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Sukhoi redesignated it as the Su-35 to attract export orders. In 2003, Sukhoi embarked on a second modernization of the Su-27 to serve as an interim aircraft awaiting the development of the Sukhoi PAC-FA Su-57 program. Also known as the Su-35, this version has a redesigned cockpit and weapons control system and features thrust vectoring engines in place of the canards. This type made its first flight in February 2008. Although it was designed for export, the Russian Air Force became the launch customer in 2009 with the production version designated Su-35S. The aircraft has a top speed of Mach 2.25 and it can carry a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. In January 2016, Russia made the first combat deployment of the Su-35S when it sent a fleet of four aircraft to Syria. Since Sukhoi Su-57 is still not operationally deployed yet, Su-35S is considered to be the premier fighter jet in the Russian inventory. Specialists from the Ukrainian Air Force were able to recover critical and previously secret pieces from the wreckage and notify British intelligence. As per Express, the secret, long-range targeting system of Su-35S has been examined by British and American scientists. 
These systems were taken to the Government's Defense, Science and Technology Laboratory DSTL, in Porton Down, Wiltshire, England, where British engineers and two U.S. Air Force specialists spent 10 days analyzing them, the report revealed. The preliminary evaluation was so promising that these systems were transported to Nevada, U.S. for further forensic analysis. The fighter took years to build with lots of R&D going into it. Russian Air Force has around 100 of these in its inventory and a further 30 are on order. Given the situation, the possibility of NATO members studying its sophisticated inner workings would certainly be alarming for Russian Air Force leadership. The examination could go a long way in helping NATO counter this fighter jet, which will remain the backbone of the Russian Air Force for the foreseeable future since the Su-57 is unlikely to be available in significant numbers until the end of this decade. Russia has already lost the Su-35S deal from three countries. Egypt, Indonesia and Algeria have already rejected the fighter due to technological problems. This incident will add to the export woes. Chinese PLAAF People's Liberation Army Air Force has the biggest fleet of Su-35S fighter planes after Russia. China signed a $2 billion contract with Russia in 2015 to purchase 24 of them. While China has developed the Chengdu J-20 stealth fighter, which is touted to be a fifth-generation fighter, it still went ahead with the Su-35S purchase which is technically a sub-generation order. This was mainly because China has lingering issues with the development of engines and other components for J-20, and it's still not fully combat-approved. Many experts indicated that the reason for getting the Su-35S was for reverse engineering. This assessment was further consolidated when Yevgeny Levadny, Russia's Rostex Chief of Intellectual Property Projects, said on December 13, 2019, "...unauthorized copying of our equipment abroad is a huge problem. There have been 500 such cases over the past 17 years. China alone has copied aircraft engines, Sukhoi planes, deck jets, air defense systems, portable air defense missiles, and analogs of the Pantsir medium-range surface-to-air systems." Viewers may note that the Chinese J-11 and J-15 are illegal copies of Russian Su-27 and Su-35, respectively. So it can be said that the base of most Chinese fighters, including the J-20, is the Russian fighters. Hence, if the Su-35 is examined, now not only will the Su-35, but also the whole Chinese fighter fleet could potentially get exposed with their key weakness revealed. China has been wary since the beginning of the conflict that things like this could crop up. As per reports, Beijing is very concerned and is also investigating the circumstances surrounding the downer of the Su-35S fighter. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.